Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corner, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how you doing? Um, I hope you're here to stay um, and see all the crazy ideas that I come up with. If you have been subscribed, hello and welcome back. Today we brought to you another little makeup look. Wow, look at that glow. Look at that glow. Um, everybody's doing that um, Valentine's look, but I wanted to do something different, you know, something that kind of matched my the colors that I'm wearing today. Um, I did use a, a palette that I've been I was sending the Boxy Charms. I don't remember exactly the month, but I was a couple months back. I have used this palette before. I have a makeup look on this palette before. Um, I actually used this in our Urban Decade palette. I actually used that one shade from the Urban urban decade palette is called free love and everything else i got from here that the colors i used it was from he, this palette um i hope that you guys you guys enjoyed this video that this video is kind of useful that maybe somebody can recreate my look because it's very simple and let's leave you guys with the video and see what you guys think about so i already have done my brows for my brows i used the uh, benefit Cabral. I outlined my eyebrows using the Anastasia brow wiz and I had put concealer in my eyebrows wet and wild all around it. Now we're going to prepare my eye. It's going to be a quick makeup look because I am going out. I was planning to do more like a Valentine makeup look but I don't have time. So we're gonna use a we're gonna do a quick makeup look using this palette that I have got in the box of charm as well. So let us start prepping, putting concealer in our eyes to put eyeshadow. We're gonna go again with the wet and wild, but I think I am going to go if I can find it with. The lighter shade because I feel like the colors will be brighter in this lighter shade which is the shade of medium peach normally for my brows I use the shade um, medium deep as you can see it blends well with my skin excuse my bumps my skin is looking a little rough my face but this is what I use I use the medium deep for my brows and then for my eyeshadow I use the medium peach which is a lot lighter than my skin tone that way that way the eyeshadow can pop up a little more let's prepare or I I had the concealer all over my eyes I like to blend it with either a sponge or my fingers I feel like I can feel better with my fingers The NYX Set It Don't Fret It Mineral Finishing. It's a matte finishing powder. With my Beauty Blender as well. Just gonna dip in there. I do need a mirror. I need a mirror. I need to see. And I'm just gonna set it. That way my eyeshadow doesn't look all weird which let me tell you a lot of stuff a lot of times i don't have time or i am so busy or i just forget and then when the hours go by i see my eyeshadow and i'm like what does it look like that and it's because i forget to set the concealer Let me close this. Let's go with the eyeshadow palette. So let me tell you, I don't know if I do this right or not, but personally me, I like to, my eyeshadow kind of resemble some colors of that I'm wearing. So with that being said, yeah, I want to leave something. 
you know, kind of orangey. So these have these colors, like a light yellow, orangey, silver, a little darker shade red, um, a brownish. I got a little brown um, glittery in a dark, darker um, gold shade. So we're gonna use, we're gonna start with this right here. Ooh, tap the excess. And I'm gonna blend this all over my eye. Then um, I'm thinking, since I'm wearing orange, for transition shade, maybe use this. Skull Glove. And I am using the same brush. And again, let's build up a little. It is, it's a, it's, it's a very powdery formula, which I had used it before. I didn't have no issues at all. But again, I believe I forgot to set my eyes. Therefore, the formula was sticking to my eye. Maybe that would be, that's the difference. Look at this. You see that? Let's try this one more time. Look, look. I can see a little bit, but I think I'm going to put up some more just because I want, I was hoping that it will pop up a little more and it's looking pretty light. I mean, I, I can see it. But it's still pretty light. Okay, just tap it. Maybe that will help. It could be that maybe I am using the wrong brush. I don't know. I'm not really follow the instructions on the brushes or how they're supposed to use it, what brush is supposed to be for what. I just do whatever works for me. I don't think you have to follow in a specific order or use the brush for the specific thing that it's supposed to be for. I think it's makeup. It's like you are makeup is like like you do an art. It shouldn't have to be oh this has to be specifically for this. If you use it for another stuff, it's not going to work. I truly don't believe in that. So maybe I'm using the wrong brush. Don't mind me, this is the Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number, it just came like in this little case. So, don't judge me, okay? I'm not a makeup artist. Now I can see the, the orange starting to show a lot more. Just have to like pack it in there. Pack it in there and blend. What do you think? You see a little better now? I think we can see a lot better. I'm going to put uh, just a little tiny bit more. Oh, tap the excess. Especially in the outer, I would say corner, but the transition, what do you think now? I think it's looking much better. A little bit more for the left side. cinnamon shade I last time I believe I used the poppy poppy shade but this time I want to go with the cinnamon shade just because it is a mm, I don't know I feel like it will look better I feel like it will look better so let's go in with the poppy shade for look at this 
outer corner, drag it all the way to the crease. Can you hear that? Can you hear how that sounds for? I bought these Morphe brushes because I heard a lot of good reviews. But I feel like every time I do my makeup with these brushes, my eyes hurt. They're a little like rough. Like I know, like I said, I don't know a lot about makeup. I definitely do not, not do not know a lot about brushes. But these brushes are a lot harder that these brushes but I guess I gotta use with the one we have I have I recently have ordered um, wet and wild set and I'm gonna try those I supposed to begin them today I also order the new Colourpop loose um, loose pigments um, so I'm gonna be doing a review on that I'm gonna be showing it I'm gonna be um, swatching them because they look amazing and I hope the same way they look on Instagram, on YouTube, uh, on Facebook, that they look when I swatch them, when they look on me. So I'm definitely gonna be swatching those, and I'll be I'll be doing a makeup look with those as well. Can you see the orange? I feel like the orange. I don't know where they have what it went. I mean, you can see a little bit, but that club shade, it has went somewhere that I can't see. The rope. Pack it up a little bit. A little more. Now I am going to cut my crease like about a little over half of my eye and I am going to apply um, the jasmine shade and maybe a little bit of prime rose in the middle so that way it goes from jasmine to prime rose to some wild concealer the median to peach shade because it's lighter That should be good. Now let's see. I'm gonna do one first just because I I'm not a hundred percent sure about this. We're gonna go with the jasmine first. What do you think? What do you think? And then let's do a little bit of prime rose just because I feel like this one is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go for prime rose. Trying to blend that in a little bit. I think you can hardly even see it. Oh, it's there, all right? It's there, all right? Can you see it? Probably not. I don't know how I feel about this look, to be honest. I guess I was expecting a little bit something a little bit more orangey instead of 
this gold eye that I have. But you know what? Let's see what I can do about that. So I have found this Urban Decay palette and between all my palettes, which has a little free love orangey. And I think I'm going to apply that over this goldish shade and see how it looks because I'm really not feeling the gold today at all whatsoever. As long as I can find, oh, there it is. Let's see. This lighting doesn't help either to see, but you know what? You know what? We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go with the flow, okay? I was hoping it was a little bit more orangey than what it's looking right now, and it's not. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's not. It's not the makeup fault, of course. Let me do something. I'm going to do something. Something real quick. See how that works. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go back to club. And I'm going to pack it up up here. Pack it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. Okay. I think now it's looking better. All right. Now I'm going to do my other eye. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do want to do, you know what? No, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that cinnamon. Right up there. That way it can darken a little bit my eyes. I'm going to do my other eye off camera. Um, and also going to do my eyeliner off camera. Let's see how this end up to be so I did I did my eyeliner for my eyeliner I used the epic ink epic ink liner by NYX cosmetics this is one of my favorite eyeliner as you can tell I have used it a lot of times it's painting um, now let's apply our mascara this I got in the box of charm it is called superhero and I really liked it I really really liked it I was gonna put um, eyelashes, but I'm only go out for a run, you know, be some family members, and I don't feel like doing. I bought this yesterday at Walgreens. I had been I become a very big fan of the Wayne Wild um, brand because it's not only very affordable and it's actually pretty good. So, uh oh, okay, let's wait a minute. It says dewy. Oh, it has tint. Okay, so you know what? Let's apply that. Let me see. Oh, it's kind of tinted. It looks like I have like some kind of shimmer like I like it 
of course, Wait a While. It's one of my favorite. I also own this. I want to try the it's a L'Oreal Cobra Girl 24 hour one. But you know, I, I, I like to stick to my favorite ones. What do you think? I think the shade is perfect. It's not like super coverage, as you can tell. I like it. Now, if I want like a super duper coverage, that's why I got my NYX. My NYX is like to go to parties, which I don't really go to parties like that. To go on date night, like something that doesn't if i want my face my face to look like super flawless i definitely might to go with the nyx now so let's continue with the concealer and for this i'm going to use my medium deep tan just because think this will do what do you think well, I think we're looking pretty decent all right to set it I'm gonna go again with my set it don't fret it NYX mineral powder and I'm going to go again with the same beauty sponge For my bronzer, bronzer, I'm going to use my NYX Matte Bronzer. It's on the shade of Deep Tan, which I think this bronzer is a little bit too light for me. But we're going to go with Flow. For the brush blush, we're gonna use but we're gonna go with pretty bulgur. If you have watched my videos, this is the one that I use the most. I did find some other stuff that I have been um sent in the boxy charm, but um always go with it. I like to smile.
let's go with the bottom for the bottom of our eyes can't forget about that let's see which shade we're gonna go for how about we do a little bit of club we're gonna do a little bit of club for the bottom of the eyes it would be nice if I had a mirror I got a mirror right here All right, we looking fabulous. This is from Becca Cosmetics. Cosmetics. I am not can't say that word today. Um, these are also got in the box charm. This is my absolutely favorite one. Favorite one. Wow. And we're gonna apply this with a brush if I can find one, of course. My to go brush for. It's the Pixie Highlighter Brush What do you think? I think we're looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna set everything up with this Wet n Wild Rose. Three in one priming water is a prep, set, and refresh. I got this one yesterday again from Walgreens for about 3.33 to be exact. Let's see. Oh, it smells delicious. Delicious. Are you ready? Ooh. This is smell really good. Really, really good. It smell like a straight roses. Oh, look at this. Nice. I like how it feels in the skin. It feels really good on the skin. And now I gotta find what to do with this hair. This lips, I'll be right back. So I, I dump out my hair a little bit, just gonna spray it with um, water, you know, kind of refresh my curls real quick because I really don't have time. I do have to go. Um, and for my lips, I'm gonna use the Kat Bun D on matte lipstick in the shade of Lolita. tell you one fact one, one weird thing about me I have never used a lip liner for my lips I was thinking about it the other day but I'm like ah, I never done that should I try if you think I should try a lip liner for my lips because I do have a small a small upper lip like when I smile my lip just vanish what do you think if you think I should maybe I should try it drop up a comment and tell me what do you think and that was that so um i think this is it this is the final look i'm ready to go um do roll my errands and stuff um if you like this look if you like how the look turned out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave drop a comment down below especially about this lip situation do you think i should use a lip liner or you think i should continue to do it my way what do you think look at this look at this lip when i smile where'd it go it goes oh, completely away but um like i said if you have any comments if you have any suggestion drop it down below don't forget to subscribe and nothing i guess it will be on to the next one so I just wanted to update you guys in this makeup. Um, right now it is a 57, and as you can tell, the makeup is still looking pretty 
on point I did retouch my lips once it looks like I have something on but I really don't have absolutely nothing on my lips but they look a little reddish huh don't know why but let me fix my hair with my lipstick but I think overall the makeup like I said it has been a little over nine hours and the makeup is still look on point so this makeup look was a total success my fail my face doesn't feel dry at all my eyes doesn't feel like I don't see any different I look like I just got this makeup done what do you think I think after a long day that I had I think um it looks pretty good pretty amazing I think I can just throw on some clothes and go clubbing no absolutely not but I think today's makeup was a total success success let me know what you think like I said it is 58 and I did this makeup look look around finish almost around 1130 so it has been a long 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 day in my makeup you can see my blood well my blush obviously it's not there but I think overall the look is still pre looks pretty good let me think what you what do you think in your comments and on to the next one